Hello and welcome to It's the Bees, the channel where I document my journey of becoming a beekeeper starting completely from scratch. While I await my first colony of bees, in this episode I'll focus on purchasing a bee suit. Protective clothing is an essential part of beekeeping. It helps reduce, but importantly not eliminate, the chance of being stung. Being stung is inherently a part of being a beekeeper and I'll need to learn to deal with it. Although I can take steps to reduce the chance, including getting some protective clothing. Although there are a few popular videos circling of beekeepers without any protective clothing at all, I predict these people are masochists and are therefore in the tiny minority of beekeepers. Instead, I'll opt for the tried and tested method of the full bee suit, unfortunately foregoing outrage and disbelief in the comment sections of my videos. There appear to be different levels of protection available. This can range from just a veil on its own, through to a full bee suit. I decided on the full suit. I can imagine that having an angry bee within your clothing isn't pleasant, so my main goal was to have something that eliminated any gaps through which the bees can crawl. Head protection is a must, and this must be able to connect to the main suit without creating a gap. The thickness and type of material of the suit itself is a balance between comfort and protection. When choosing my bee suit, I looked for something that gave me a good level of protection, but at a reasonable price. I wasn't looking to spend too much, given how new I am to the hobby. Not trusting the quality of the cheapest eBay finds, I instead opted for something more reputable, and, based on the experience of a family member, I ended up going for a UK supplier who seemed to have a decent track record. Due to Covid lockdown, I wasn't able to try on the suit beforehand, so I gambled and ordered it online. It arrived in a surprisingly small package. The material was thinner than expected, but I predict it will protect me well enough combined with some layers underneath. I've ordered some new wellies and rubber gloves, and I've also borrowed some leather beekeeping gloves to try out. So, my protective clothing comprises wellies, bee overalls, a veil, probably the most recognisable part of the bee suit, it has a fine mesh which stops bees coming in and allows me to see out, and gloves. I felt invincible if a bit daft. I have three different types of gloves and I'll experiment with each. Although thinner gloves seem a bit counterintuitive when it comes to avoiding stings, especially the latex ones, I've read that the improved dexterity allows you to be more gentle, which keeps the bees calm and in turn reduces the chance of stinging. So obviously there's a balance to be had. I now feel ready to conduct my first inspection of a bee colony. Thank you for watching. <laughs>